One of the most powerful workflows on the desktop in Photoshop using images is to either precisely select an area or precisely select multiple areas and combine them together. We call that compositing. Now, historically, that's been pretty difficult to do. So we wanted to build an app that made it much easier and much more friendly without sacrificing any of the power. That app's called Photoshop Mix, and it's deeply integrated with the iPad Pro. So here within Photoshop Mix, the first thing to note is access to our files. And this sounds like a pretty simple thing, but just being able to get to our files wherever they are is a big deal. So coming in here, maybe I want to look at images that I took at the racetrack. There are all of those. Those are my Creative Cloud files. I can get to those really easily. You'll notice that I can also get to library and, of course, local files. Now, within Mix, I have any projects that I've worked on. Now, these might be projects that I started on another device or just something that I was working on the last time I was in here. Let's select this image here, and I should note that Mix is built on Apple's Metal framework, and that allows us to open really large files, 30, even 40 megapixel images. The first thing I want to do here is just make a slight adjustment to it. And so I'm going to come in here and darken this image just a little bit and add a little bit of clarity. Now, all of these operations are non-destructive, which means that were I to make it black and white, I could revert it back to color later. Now, the real power of Mix is the ability to cut out things. So what I want to do here is cut out the sky and replace it with a uh, more splashy sky. So I'm just going to drag pencil across the sky. And as I do that, it's learning about the area that I'm selecting. That looks pretty good. As we zoom in here, uh, we should note that our brush dynamics are tied to the zoom. So we have a lot of pixels here. We've got 5.6 million pixels on the iPad Pro, which means that we have a lot of precision. I invert that, and I've got a really nice selection. I'm just going to drop in a different sky here. So let's navigate to this image that's much more colorful and just drag that underneath the other one, pinch to scale that. And if I want to make some more adjustments, maybe I want to make the foreground uh, a little bit more saturated and a little warmer, I can continue to revisit those as separate pieces. Now, the next thing I want to do is give it some texture. And so I'm just going to go ahead and choose a textured file pinch and scale that to give me the size I want, and leverage our blend modes. This is the sort of thing that in the past I could only do on the desktop, but it's really easy to do here in Mix. So there we see that we have a nice three-layer composite with texture. Uh, if I wanted from here, I could send that over to the desktop, but I have a lot of choices when it comes to sending this out. Let's look at one other use case within Mix. Of course, there's lots of different things that we can do. In this case, Here's the original image uh, of my wife, and here's an image where I've already gone ahead and selected this. Now, this is a great example of where pencil can save you a lot of time. I've knocked her out from the background, and I want to drop in another image to give it this multiple exposure look. So let's choose another image. I'm going to choose this image of these trains, and I'm just going to scale that as I like there. And then I'll just click and drag her and move her onto that and copy one mask onto the other. We're going to use those same blend modes that we used before. Let's choose soft light, maybe adjust our opacity a little bit. And now all we need is a texture. And we'll use the same texture as we did in the other image. Although in this case, because it's monochromatic, the first thing that I want to do is desaturate that. For this blend mode, maybe something a little darker like multiply. So there we have it. In just a few seconds, we've come up with this really interesting aesthetic. This is very common. You see this in film and advertising. Uh, pretty tricky on the desktop, really quick in Photoshop Mix. It will be a project just waiting for me when I go to my iPhone or any other device. So as you can see, Photoshop Mix is a very powerful app. You've seen it deeply integrated with the iPad Pro and Pencil, but it also runs just fine on smaller versions of the iPad and even the iPhone. Because of that login, you're able to get to your content and your projects wherever you are.